This is Francis Madsen speaking from the Computerium. A couple of months ago, I was able to auction a vintage Heathkit analog computer, a Heathkit EC1 from 1960, maybe 1959. This machine was assembled sold as an assembled uh, machine or also as a kit and it was sold as an educational electronic analog computer. It has nine operational amplifier stages that you see here on the front plate. It is entirely driven by valves and each amplifier is made by one pentode with an integrated triode which you see here. The amplification factor is rather poor, it's only a thousand but the computer was meant as an educational means not as a precise laboratory computer. Nevertheless you can do many things with it. What makes it apart from other analog computers is that the amplifiers, the operational amplifiers, are bare bones. They lack all the necessary resistors, capacitors to transform an amplifier into an integrator, a summer or an inverter. Heathkit made a clever decision to add here on the front page connectors from military filters and sold modules where you could fit in these capacitors and resistors. The connectors are from the FT241 crystals. As these were not available anymore, I made some modules using PVC material and most important uh, plugs of 2.4 millimeter diameters. When we received the computer it didn't work at all. But with the help of my colleague Raoul Toll, who is an expert in restoring vintage radios, we quickly saw that all valves were okay, but there were many broken wires inside, broken, difficult to see. We resoldered everything and I replaced all capacitors with new ones. And oh, nice surprise, the machine now works as it should. There is some scratching with several potentiometers, but it works okay. And so let me just show you an illustration if it's working. It has to solve the classical equation of a damped oscillator. This is oscillator, a spring, a mass and a damping proportional to the speed and the equation describing the system is the second order differential equation. If we translate that into a wiring, into an EC1 Heathkit wiring, we get this scheme. And on the front board this looks a lot like spaghetti wiring, so we won't delve too deep into uh, this. Now, let me just launch the system manually. So, and you see here on the meter that <coughs> we have an oscillatory movement. One again. Okay. Just to show this, we will use also vintage, another vintage Heathkit material, the XY recorder IR5207, which I assembled in 1980. And let us just launch the movement. Once again.
there is some delay before reaching the stable situation and a serious problem with this recorder is that you can't find the pens anymore. Nevertheless, it works fine. And so we used an analog computer from 1960, entirely wealth driven, to solve this differential equation of a second order. We are very proud to have restored this Heathkit material and being fan of Heathkit, we enjoy in seeing this old material coming to life again. So, bye bye Heathkit, bye bye Heathkit EC1 analog computer and thank you for watching.